Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to make this birria for you in a crock pot. You guys ask me a lot, can I make your birria recipe in a crock pot? Yes, you can. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video and I'm also gonna share with you guys that if you're looking for the birria chili oil, you can look in the description area. I'm gonna attach the ingredients and then just click on the video. I'll put the time frame where I show that I made the uh, chili oil so it's easier for you guys. And also, before we start this recipe, I want you guys to know that if you're using a pre-frozen piece of chuck roast, your texture is gonna be highly different. So you wanna use a fresh cut when you're gonna make it in a crock pot or if you're gonna make it in a big portion for your family. So on that one, let's get started on making this delicious recipe. To your crock pot, you wanna add your portion of boiling hot water. I added water straight from my kettle and I've had this on high for about 30 minutes, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my pieces of chuck roast. And this recipe is good for about three to four pounds. Okay, if you're shy of one or the other, you're gonna be okay with this recipe. Add your onion, and I'm using a real big, big onion. A whole garlic. For this part, you're only gonna add one large or medium carrot. You can still continue to use your Wajillo chili, but since it's in a crock pot, I'm gonna cut the time for you guys because I have a big portion of Wajillo chili powder. It's a used chili powder. I'll link in the description on how to make it, but it's gonna cut your time. Add your salt, your chicken bouillon, and your bay leaves. We're gonna let this cook on high for about four to five hours, and if you're doing it on low, it's gonna take you about six to eight hours. So it's gonna depend on your crock pot and your ingredients, obviously, but uh, hang tight, and while I'm doing this, I'm gonna start prepping some of the other things that I need, and then I'm just gonna go and get my errands and my things done, so I'll see you guys when this is ready. It's been five hours for me, and now I'm gonna add the remainder of the carrots, okay? Make sure to move them down so that we, they get coated with the broth and begin the cooking process. You don't want them to just float on top and not cook. And our last ingredient's gonna go in, which is our oregano. Sprinkle the oregano over the top, and then I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for another hour. The total cook time for my birria is six hours, and it's gonna depend on you guys, on how long you wanna cook this. Obviously, the longer, the softer, but six seems like a good amount of time to make a delicious birria in your crock pot. Now, let's get started for this taco. And it's goat time. I'm gonna start shredding my beef so that we can just place it in that nice, delicious taco. So shred it how you want. Boom, done. Nice and soft. All right, friends, to your hot pan, add some of your birria chili oil. And then swipe your tortilla around and get all that deliciousness, okay? Careful, it's hot. You guys know I'm wild. Add your birria. Add your cheese of choice. I'm using Oaxaca, but you can use mozzarella. Add a little bit of your onions and your cilantro. This is a game changer, those two ingredients. Wow, I sounded like a bossy mommy. You guys like bossy mommy? No? Cloud didn't like bossy mommy. I'm mesmerized by this taco. <laughs> Mom, do you like it when I'm a bossy mommy? I don't know. I'm fine. Sometimes? Okay, Mom. I won't be a bossy mommy to you. Cause love takes time to heal when you're hurting inside. I got it wrong. Isn't that when you're hurting so much? When you're hurting so much. Don't nobody send that to Mimi because then I'll really be in for it. By the original Mimi. <laughs> I'm scared now that I did that. <laughs> Cut that out. Girl. I know, girl. And we love Mimi. I'm 
I'm going to continue to cook this taco until it's nice and crispy the way I like it and soft on the inside with all this. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Yes. And while I'm waiting for this taco to finish, I'm going to serve myself some consomme so I can dip this delicious taco in there. You guys know how we do it. Who's ready? I ask you guys because this is real. Yeah. Add your tears, your onions. Some cilantro. And lime. Well, this is a really dry lime, but I got some out. Friends, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!